Hey, Tim DeStasio here, and it's Psychometric Saturday. We're going to continue what we were talking about last time, as in what happens when we need to cool the space down. So last time we plotted a point on the psychometric chart. We plotted 95 degree dry bulb and a dew point of 70 degrees. And so really where these two lines intersect, that's called our operating point. And this is our outdoor operating point. That's the outdoor conditions. Now, 95 degrees and 70 degree dew point is really hot and humid. It feels sticky. We wouldn't be comfortable if our house was that temperature. No, rather we are more comfortable here in the desired range of around 75 degree dry bulb and somewhere around a 55 degree dew point. That's really what we try to design our systems to be. So uh, when our air conditioning unit turns off though, or let's say it breaks down, our indoor temperature starts creeping up and it gets pulled back towards the outdoor conditions. So if the unit never comes back on, eventually our indoor conditions are gonna be the same as our outdoor conditions. So think about these outdoor conditions as having like a gravitational pull on our desired uh, operating point. So what do we have to do in order to prevent that from happening? Well, we have to insert something else that has its own little gravitational pull, we have to blow in and mix in colder and drier air into the space to try to pull the other way. It has to counteract what the outdoor temperature is doing. And that's what happens when we turn our air conditioning on, our air starts cooling down. So the very first thing it's going to do is we're going to start removing dry bulb temperature. We're cooling that air down. But once we cool it down to this point, we hit what we call the saturation curve. And that's just the outer limit of the psychometric chart. That's the boundary. And what I want you to think about this as being is a slide. So if you were walking up to the slide, once you got to the slide, the only way down or only way is down the slide, down that curve. And so that's what happens when our air conditioning comes on, it starts cooling the air down, we get to our saturation curve and we slide down the slide until we cool it down to a point of somewhere around 55 degrees and around 50 to 55 degree dew point. And so this is really the supply air temperature. And that comes out of our supply registers. It mixes in with the room and it sort of keeps this dot where it is. Because if it wasn't there, then our outdoor conditions would just pull our dot back up towards being hot and humid. But rather when we turn our air conditioning on, we're providing some cold, dry air mixing to the room, and that's pulling it the other way to keep this dot exactly where it's at. And that's essentially what happens with the air conditioning process. Now there's a lot more to that. We're gonna get more into dew point, saturation temperature, all that good stuff in future videos. But for now, we're gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time on Psychrometric Saturdays.